this is John Cooper, Precision Farming Sales Manager here at Swiderski Equipment. Today we'll be going through some videos on how to properly set up a GPS system on the IntelliView 12 and IntelliView 4 displays. Okay, today we're going to show you how to set up a swath for your guidance system on the IntelliView 4. So in the previous videos we've set up our grower, all listed here. We've selected our implement, which is the disc, which we set up in, set up in an early video. Um, now we're going to set a swap. So in order to do that, we're going to find the page that we have marked down here or selected down here that has our map and our swath recorder. From here, you need to pick the type of swath you're going to make, whether it's straight, a heading, a circle, a curve, spiral, field, or multi. So there's several different ways you can set a swath. In this video, we're going to do the simplest one, and that is straight. So you would select straight. It's going to pop up into your recorder as a straight two, so it, whatever one it left off on. So there must have been a straight one that was already made. From here, you can name it. You would edit the name. We could just put, uh, we'll delete it all, and we'll just put test. Test one as our swap. So now it's named, and then if we have to go back to it, we can select it back. So when you get ready in your field and you're ready to go, you're going to start at the end of your field, and you're going to set A. Oh, I'm sorry, that was mark. You can mark A, a longitude and latitude. So if you want to mark it and then put in a, uh, another coordinate, you can do that as well. But we're gonna mark it here. And then you're gonna have to drive at least 30 feet in the direction that you're gonna run. So I'm gonna go forward here and once I hit 30 feet, I should be able to mark the B. And there's our line. And then you can engage your guidance from here and, and do what you need to do. That is setting up an AV line swath.